Well, uh, things are going down here. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I yeah. suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you said you were the Lord. Now prove it. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Yeah. Well, so I got this. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. Sit down to your throne. Come on. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. I'm gonna be. V I'm gonna. To be the late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. Da, 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 da. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. I'm not gonna say anything. Ah, hold your tongue, you coward. And no bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord a with no jerk. fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Bloody foresters. Fetch Lord Whitehill some bread and salt. It was an oversight, Lord Whitehill. I promise it won't happen again. Not likely. You foresters have shit on us for generations. You know, I don't like this guy. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roos Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. Whoa. You cunt. That is very rude. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe yes, if you hadn't you been are. so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things right. would have been I different really between us. You squandered yeah. your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Oh, this guy. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business. Keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said. When your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. Garrod was only defending himself. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the Lord of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roos Bolton. Hmm. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Oof. Unfortunately, you would not know the likes of them. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and oh. all. But this... This is not over. It's over when my son says it is. Thank you for coming, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. Oh! That lad may be Lord of this house. 
But Lord Bolton will have the final say. Well, you know what? I'll You'll send him a raven jerk. letting him know a forester man uh. killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forrester lied to my Get face and denied my me my face, justice. Girl, then we'll nose. see whose word is law. Do, as, Do you like. as you like, Lord Whitehill. You know, you have no call on That is unfortunate. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Ooh, well I get to play as Mira finally. Ooh, let's hope the recording doesn't. No, oh, we're good. Yay! This means that. Ooh. Your sister team... can help us. Although just a handmaiden, oh. she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor, and Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. Okay. I'm good with this. Ah, oh, I'm a pretty girl. Okay. <clears throat> no, I'm not gonna be like that. So, let us open up our chests of goodies. A Yunkish coin. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. Aww. What a strange place, Essos. Ethan made this for me. All right. That is not why I'm here, though. Dusty old. Time. Wonders made by man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. I hope to see them all someday. Uh, well, <laughs> a little thing with Roderick. You see, he kind of got stabbed in the leg, and then a horse fell I on him. If it's sunny at Ironrath today, if you'll remember. So he's probably dead. And then, of course, the people were like, hey, good riddance, yeah, let's... It troubles me to more. even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. <gasps> she is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. All right, all right, calm down. Never quite got the hang of. Oh, there's someone knocking on my door that I completely. Who One is moment. It? Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. Look, I can come boy. back later if you'd like. Uh, let him in. Let's see what he has to say. No, it's fine. Come in. Begging your pardon, my lady, but you are right. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm just worried about my family. Ah, letter from home, is it? It's kind of you to ask. Of course, my lady. You've always been kind to me. Aww. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. Scarred you seem like good head. friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? Oh, God. Cersei's never good. They appear to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... You were eavesdropping? No, not at all. 
I was just passing by and I heard them arguing about House Forrester and... House Forrester? I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. No, no, no. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. I don't know why I feel kind of bad for throwing him under the bus like that. Hello, Marjorie. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Lady Marjorie. Come. There's something we must discuss. Okay. Do, 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 do. Loading. Loading. Those gears wouldn't even function properly in real life. From the day you arrived in High Garden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank that's you, my lady. Sarah, that's right. Okay. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. Yes, and I will... You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the royal set. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. Well, how did you respond? I told her you are one of my most trusted handmaidens, that you can hardly be blamed for the actions of your father and brother. Nonetheless, well, they sided with she demands of an audience. Issues. She wants an apology of some sort, for what I don't know, but... She's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. Uh, I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I'll be... Uh, I'll I actually know ask, what to say. My lady. I... I knew I could trust you. <sighs> Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. No, I'm going to tell her a little bit less than she wants to hear. See if the Queen so. Regent is ready to receive us. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Cersei's kind of a biscuit. Good luck. She kind of annoys me. She does. But let's let's see. I'm gonna be suave. I'm gonna be slick. I'm going to be awesome. I know what to say. I think I know what to say. Probably don't. But I will endeavor to know what to say. I'll say you all the right things. This. I will not lose control. I mean, you don't even have control when you're... I bet, I bet, I bet. Walk slowly, like this. Iron Throne. Ah, Lady Marjorie, aren't you looking lovely this evening? Oh. Lord Tyrion. Thank you. Your Grace? Mm. With your permission, allow me to introduce <laughs> Lady Mira of House Forrester. You curtsy, damn it. Uh, um. Neil. Your Grace. Good. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. Yes. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, your grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Yes, your grace. To the one true king. Uh-oh. 
The one true king. Yet she didn't say which. Uh, the girl is clever. She only meant. I don't care what she meant. I care what she said. Crap! I won't stand for Flip. impertinence from a girl of the North. If you would give her the chance to explain. Perhaps she can explain why the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House yes. Stark for centuries. A house of traitors. They were the Wardens of the North. We all served at the pleasure of the King. Clever girl. Perhaps you're clever, her own good. Tyrion. And she would have us believe she didn't know which king she served. No, I know which king I served. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Roose Bolton also served the Starks, your grace. And proved his loyalty to the crown by bringing their house to a swift and sudden end. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned, but now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Our talent is unrivaled, Your Grace. Forrester Ironwood is highly sought after in the Seven Kingdoms. So I'm told. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. <laughs> I hate how she it raises an interesting in question. I like that. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the wall? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? Was it her choice? I'm sure she regrets it. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Oh, Tyrion. You're the best. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. Indeed. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. Indeed. Again. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure Let she would... Let the girl answer the question. Go on. My loyalties would never conflict, Your Grace. That's a coward's answer. I will not have my time Flip. wasted by a northern girl.